Hello from Berlin, where the world is coming together for the ITB Travel Trade Show. We're here to explore the latest trends and talking points shaping the industry and the holidays and experiences of tomorrow. From Thailand to Turkey, India to Italy, all sorts of destinations are here, competing for attention from the crowds. This is the year global tourism is expected to fully recover after the pandemic, despite economic and geopolitical challenges. But it comes with mounting pressure to deliver on sustainability. We see that people want to travel and they actually diversify much more. So there are more countries in the spotlight, even more than before. And of course, sustainability and responsibility is a, is a very important topic. People are more mindful now and they, they see that there is a responsibility in uh, using sustainable options. For Italy, a favourite on Europe's tourism map, sustainability is a crucial issue. It's one of many countries taking action to manage flows of visitors and to protect cultural heritage and the environment. In Venice, there's a new entry fee for day trippers during peak times of the year. It won't reduce by itself tourism flows, but it certainly will give a much more awareness on the one hand to the city, to the citizens and also to the tourism sector of Venice, but also to the tourists, that they should be both responsibly taking care of these issues. And I think it's a question of really of awareness, which is changing completely. Sustainability is also on the mind of Oman, as it looks to grow annual tourist numbers to 11 million by 2040 putting quality over quantity as it works to diversify its economy. Sustainability is a call to our tourism industry. We don't look for mass tourism because we are aware of footprint. When we promote our destination, we promote as a premium destination, so we look more on quality. Japan is a country encouraging tourists to go off the beaten track, to not only visit the hotspots, but also to discover lesser-known places and nature, and to connect with communities, something it hopes visitors will do when they flock to the World Expo in Osaka next year. One of the key themes of the Expo is sustainability and also designing the future, and this also relates to tourism. We hope that visitors will travel to Japan, enjoy a couple of days at the Expo in Osaka, and travel beyond Osaka. Osaka is a very good hub to travel throughout Japan from north to south. Algeria is looking to grow visitor numbers to 10 million a year by 2030. Health and wellness tourism based around thermal waters is a focus, along with adventures in the Sahara. Le Sahara algérien est l'un des plus beaux déserts du monde. Et c'est le désert proprement dit. C'est un musée à ciel ouvert. C'est un espace qui est considéré comme étant unique au monde. C'est un espace à découvrir, à explorer. Thailand has long attracted travelers with its natural beauty and vibrant culture and traditions. But it too is developing health and wellness tourism. The country is reporting a 20% rise in demand since the pandemic. The destination itself can be, you know, regenerative. And we also have to tie um, authentic uh, procedure for health and wellness. For example, like Thai massage. We have a lot of demand from all over the world. Tech is also a big talking point amongst the crowds here at ITB. Artificial intelligence in particular. When we talk about uh, the shortage of skills to workers, it's a great option to fulfill skills and uh, work that has to be done, but the people are missing for that. So AI can definitely jump in that and can help out. And we see it in basically, for example, customer services. You can use AI for customer service, definitely. Travel is an industry that's in buoyant mood as it navigates its way to a new future.